guys like quiet? Hello, people. Welcome to the Extremely Boring Podcast. Um, I'm your host, Unicorn Extreme. Sadly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to make this video course. Well, I have some uh, stuff to say. And, like, maybe you could give your opinions on, like, you know, stuff that's been going on. All right, all right. Uh, do I sound crisp? Real crisp, boy. I don't know if I said this in my last one, but I got a new microphone. It, I like it a lot more. It's I, I think it's better, but, like, who knows? You guys probably didn't even notice. Like, wait, what? You, you, you upgraded? It's the same thing. So quite a few things have happened recently. New things, of course, for the channel. I came up with a new format for the battles. Uh, mostly for, like, the anime battles. I don't really want to do that for, like, um... For, like, maybe B.O.B.s or something. Like, I that just... No. <laughs> um, but for anime battles, you know, those are special. And uh, I was like, okay, sure. Like, that'll work. Um, I wanted to do it for a while, but, like... I just didn't know how I was going to do it. I figured, like, oh, the metal fight battles, they last for too long, and oh my gosh, too much work. But um, with the burst battles, since they're so short, it makes uh, the skits easier to do. So, yeah, uh, I don't I don't know. I think people like it for the most part. Uh, it wasn't perfect. It, I mean, the lighting, I, I tried to make it better. Like, I guess it kind of is, but, like, at the same time, eh. Um, back, you know before i did like natural lighting but now i uh bought a lamp and um i, I figured that would help i, I guess it kind of has but like the the lighting still could be better but you know whatever um and the shots or whatever they they did i don't know i could have done better but um yeah i'm gonna try to improve that in the second one which i did re i recorded the audio for that and i also have the the battle recorded as well so uh, stay tuned for that one uh, but I, I kind of have to, uh, there's a special shot I want to do. Uh, well, at least I'm going to try to do. Actually, I think I have an idea. I think I know how to do it. Okay. So I have an idea for the battle or at least like the little, uh, camera shot I need. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, uh, how do you guys like the, you know, my new battle format? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you want me to disappear? Just let me know in the comments. <coughs> Uh, fun fact, I actually recorded this podcast twice already, you know, not including this one. Um, I kept like, you know, the first one I was like, okay, I'm going to talk about this. But then later on I was like, oh, there, st stuff has been added, so I'll just redo it. And then now, it, you know, I figured, okay, I guess this is going to be the final version. I mean, third time's a charm, right? H Happy New Year's, by the way, and uh, Merry Christmas, Mer uh, Merry Late Christmas, uh, it, uh, mine was okay. It kind of started a little rocky, but like it got better later on. Let's talk about uh, the hashtag versus the future controversy. Oh my gosh, it's an uh, you know audiences are in an uproar. They're all like, "What unicorn extreme? He he's it's he's going to burst all the way? Like what? Is he out of his mind?" And I I probably am. Um, but you know people weren't happy with that. They, they want me to do metal fight, but. To be honest, like, you can do so much with Metal Fight now. It's like, I mean, sure, you can do, like, B.O.B.s and stuff, but those get kind of old. Uh, it, I don't know. It's just, like, it's it's the same, like, same combos again and again or whatever. And I was just, I don't know. Uh, Burst, it's a new thing to me. Like, sure, it's been out for a while, but I haven't really, like, messed around with it too much. Uh, I tested it out uh, years ago when it you know the the beta versions of them i guess you would call them uh back to the metal fight stuff um i'm gonna do metal fight still like i know all of my uh videos have been burst related but um i have an idea for like um let, let's say thursday you know you know like throwback thursdays like how about well not every thursday how about like if i'm gonna do a metal fight video and if like if i upload on thursday or whatever then it's gonna be metal fight video okay so stay tuned for that i i don't know uh, oh actually I, oh my gosh i totally forgot about this idea so it, it well it's gonna be a tournament i'm gonna say that right now because i don't want people to be disappointed when it gets uploaded and you know you know whatever so i'm just gonna say it right now the the custom beyblade tournament it's gonna be it's not gonna be an open tournament it's gonna be a tournament for the winners of my previous tournaments so don't 
it, don't get your hopes up uh, in the comments saying, "Oh my gosh, she's gonna do my combo." I, I just I just don't want you guys to be disappointed and uh, leave a dislike on my video. Um, but yeah, that should be pretty fun to do. And uh, news update on Unicorno. He's still in a coma. He's still not responding to us, you know. Um, pretty depressing stuff. Uh, I, I don't know how much longer he's got, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know, but it's really depressing. <laughs> so, apparently, I, I guess Burst is, uh, the audience has grown. Because I remember, like, back then, people were complaining, Oh, Burst is terrible. I don't want to play Burst. But now it, it seems like it's it's getting more of a following, and that's cool. Uh, the um oh, and other news I uh, uh that new intro I made, or well, it's not really new anymore. I made it like two months ago, but um yeah, the, I was uh, I was kind of proud of that. Like I'm sure someone's gonna be like, Dude, that was terrible, but um you know for me, um th th that was pretty good to me to me. Uh, people seem to like it. They're like, yo, are you okay mentally? uh i i guess so like i i don't know maybe, maybe not but yeah i really like the intro that's probably uh the best intro of all time <laughs> um th there was a the comment saying like, oh i could do a better intro on your movie maker or something and uh and i got really triggered so i was like okay kid uh i'll try a little harder <laughs> and uh yeah that's that's how that that monster was born. How I Met Dragonis, uh, I was a little nervous. I was like, oh, gosh, I don't know if people are going to respond to this, especially with, like, these little references. Like, the one, I was like, oh, gosh, people are going to cringe so hard. But, um, yeah, people seem to like it. I only got one comment saying, like, are you serious, dude? Are you, is that Fifty Shades of Zanker? Are you serious? I was like, yeah, dude, you, you like the cringe? I think that took a week to make. But then again, like... I couldn't record the audio and that kind of set me back because like, you know, my family's like so loud. Um, but you know, I, I finished it. I think it turned out okay. Well, definitely better than like the first version. The first version was just, it was pretty terrible. Um, well, well, the, the voices really. You know, I was trying to, you know, get my voices back, you know, like Dragonis. And it was really hard for me because like, I just can't really do it as good as I used to. Here, let me try it. Yeah, my my name's Regardless. Well, I'm doing it good right now, but like back then, oh my gosh, I was having such a hard time. <laughs> There's gonna be another one. Um, it's gonna be about uh, should I say it? This is gonna be like the last Jedi where I can't say anything. Let's see. Okay, uh, I mean, why not? It's it's gonna be about giraffe, and I kind of uh, I'm starting the script right now. Um, at first I was like I don't know, but now I think I have a, an idea that'll work or whatever um so i hope you guys like that uh, but how i met dragonis was a lot of fun to make the scene that was the most fun was surprisingly the poker scene uh i thought that was gonna be terrible to film i was like oh, i'm not gonna have any fun with this i want to get this out of the way it, it was a little annoying at some parts like you know the table flip honestly i think i got that the first try but like there was some stuff you know i was trying to get the cards to stay up right and stuff like that and i was getting a little frustrated um but it was a lot of fun with like the shots and stuff i was like wow, wow you know like the first draft of it was just um it was very straightforward like we knew right away that it was going to be like a poker thing uh, but I was like, you know, maybe I need some mystery to this, uh, to this thriller. Um, so I decided to just keep it a secret for a little bit. It's like, oh my gosh, all these Beyblades are talking. Like, oh, what's going down? Like, what's happening? Are they going to battle? It's going to be epic. And then the camera goes backwards. And then you see like this poker table with like these cards. And you're like, wait, what? Um, but yeah, I, re I really love that scene. That was probably my favorite out of uh, the whole thing. The, the plane took honestly that was a pain i hated that so much we went to uh a playground uh well there was this one thing where like you know where you um hang on and like it it slides to the other side uh we've tried that and like i don't know it just turned out terrible but uh from what we got it, it was okay i i uh i made it work um but yeah i i hated that scene so much uh but in the end it turned out fine um oh and if you caught it i used a script for this one in the extreme wedding and how i met unicorno i didn't use a script i just uh did improv i was like okay what do, i'll just do whatever okay unicorno's gonna do this and this um 
So I decided to use a script this time. I don't know if it helped any. Who knows? It probably made it worse. But, you know, what do you guys think? Honestly, that would kind of make me feel terrible. It's like, oh, the improv was so much better. Why'd you use a script? That was awful. So I uploaded 11 videos so far out of, you know, since the last podcast. I, I could do better. The thing is, like, I'm trying to put a little bit more effort into the videos this time. Uh, back then, I just, like... You know, I just, you know, recorded and then uploaded every single day. I didn't put a whole lot of work into it. It was just like pretty straightforward. But I, I want to try new things. Uh, I don't know if you guys like those new things, but, you know, I, I don't want to try them. So uh, honestly, I'm pretty proud of the videos I've made there. You know, like I said, it's not a whole bunch of work. <laughs> Um, but it, it's definitely a lot more work than I used to do. Oh yeah, and here's to to clear up a, a question I had about the random booster unboxing gone wrong. Um, they, they were wondering why a metal fight Beyblade was in the the burst booster, and my answer is I put it there. <laughs> um, I mean I, I would figure it'd be pretty easy to like spot. Like I did a pretty terrible job, but like. Um, I retaped it. Well, of course, I opened it, you know, the real Beyblade that was in there, and then I replaced it with the Metal Fight Beyblade, and then I taped it back up and put it back in the box. Like, oh, nothing ever, ever happened. Hashtag Unicorn Extreme Exposed. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, that was kind of like a throwback. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you've seen the, um, what was it called? It was where I got a Crown, Divine Crown. And I was like really disappointed and then people like in the comments said, gosh, you're such a brat. Be thankful for what you got. And I was like, I mean, it, it's okay. I mean, it's fine. I just, it would be nice to get something else. But um, yeah, that, that's where that joke came from. You know, um, I, I don't know if people caught on to that. that. Probably not. It's, you know, it's been a while since that one video. Oh my gosh, the extreme baby two years ago. Oh my gosh, I need to step it up. The, oh my gosh, that that video was kind of terrible too. Like, uh, yeah, uh, there, there was a comment saying, like, it's kind of cheesy. It's like, yeah, it is pretty much. Two years, like, it flew by so fast. Like, it's so weird. It's like yesterday I made that video, and now it's like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to do that. So stay tuned for the Extreme Baby. I, I want to up, well, I want to finish the How I Met series first, and then I'll do the Extreme Baby. Hopefully it hopefully you guys like it you know you know after two you know two two years of waiting and then you know after it's uploaded, it's like we've been waiting two years for this <sighs> probably the video i was the most proud of would have to be uh i watched beyblade burst for the first time i don't know it was just it was a lot of fun to um uh to record you know my opinion on it and like i, I wrote it down first you know so i wouldn't forget like my points um but yeah, that was a lot of fun to make. Um, I wasn't sure, like you know, what, you know, what shots should I do to make the Beyblades look kind of interesting? It's like I wanted to do it outside because the lighting it looks beautiful, especially in the sunset. But um, yeah, there were some shots where I just decided I'll just do it inside. Like why not? Um, and uh, I dug through some some of my old Beyblade stuff, and I found like Dragoon and um, all the other ones, and that was a uh, that was a good trip down memory lane, you know. I remember back then when I was little, um, a year ago, no, but um, I think I was like six or so when I got my first Beyblades at a at a yard sale. It wasn't brand new, um, and it it was really interesting. I was like, "Oh, what's this? This looks really fun." Jeez, what the what is that? I never purchased any new plastic generation Beyblades. Um, I, I was never really. I don't know. I just like I, I was happy with the Beyblades that I got. Pretty much as soon as we got home, I told my mom, "Yo, okay, yo will you play Beyblade with me?" Um, and, yeah, that was like my favorite thing for a while. And then you know, of course, as time passed, I put it to the side and you know, moved on. But then, of course, later on, I discovered Metal Metal Fusion, and I was like, F "Really, you know, Beyblade again? That's uh, that's." Just interesting uh so i gave that a try and honestly that it was pretty fun it, it's pretty crazy looking back at like how small my collection was and then like years later how much it's grown um same thing with my channel it's like whoa but yeah it would be really cool to um to buy plastic generations the thing is like they're so expensive now especially even metal fight it's just a, oh my gosh like 
wow. Who knows, maybe with like the, the plastic generations that I do have, maybe I'll do a little special video for you guys. Like, who knows? I think people wanted this. Like, apparently it's a trend. My Beyblade collection. Uh, do you guys want to see like a video of that, of my collection? But yeah, I have a lot of Beyblade stuff like in the closet. Hopefully I didn't lose anything. And I, and I also kept all the boxes. So that should be, that should be fun. Well, if, if you guys want to, you know, want to see it, just let me know. I'm a terrible talker. I think that's about it for the for the news. Going scrolling through the videos. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me just scroll down. Like how long was it? I think it was like four years ago, right? When I made my first video. I'm just curious. Sorry, that's taking too long. Oh, Kenny versus Madoka. Man, I should really tr start those up again. There are a lot of video formats that I don't do anymore. I like the story thing, you know, like the truth behind Madoka or something like that. Um, Madoka, I don't know if I would do Madoka, but um, I had a story in mind for Ryuga, um, and I did find it, um, but I don't know. I, 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 do I really need to change that up? Like right now, it doesn't sound very good. Well, the writing anyway, so, um, you know, who knows? Maybe I might do that too. Oh, yeah. Oh, I found the, it's called The Biggest Disappointment Ever, Takaratomi, Beyblade, uh, Random Booster 3 unboxing slasher, just in case you want to know that. A lot of, uh, gosh, there's so many videos. This is bringing tears to my eyes. Almost, I almost got a 10,000 for the Truth Behind Reggie video. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh, top 10 promo Beyblades. People got triggered by that video. Oh, here's a review of Metal Fight. Yeah, the, the reviews I made for those were not very good. Don't watch those. Oh, uh, this is really sad. Gosh, there's like a guy like going up and down the street and like his speakers are like, like holy crackers. Like my, my house is like vibrating. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so, I mean, like it's, Oh gosh, uh, I'm gonna cry. I, oh yes, yeah, I was right. Four years ago, I made my first video. All the good times, good times. Really depressing. Oh yeah, most epic fails. Maybe I should bring that series back. Uh, let's see here. And I remember getting Samurai afraid. It's like, you be bleed back. So let's. Take a look at the comments. There are some comments I want to mention. I mean, there were, there, of course, there are always going to be comments. Like, you're dumb. You're terrible. Uh, uh, yeah, the, those comments really depress me. <laughs> it's like, I, I want to be told that I'm like the greatest ever. Don't criticize me. <laughs> <coughs> so Kingston Review said, do some more, please. And he's mentioning the, um, the new format I have for the battles with the uh, stick people. And don't worry, uh... Kingston, I, I will. I will. I have one underway, so stay tuned. And then Basalt Blader commented on my second oldest video, the Samurai Efraid one. Back when Unicorn Extreme was actually excited about Beyblade. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was it was a new thing back then. Like, I don't know. I've grown older and, like, used to it by now. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, I eh. Maybe I'll save that for like a save that answer for like another video. It rotates, it rotates. Lisa Manic, you quit Metal Fight. I also quit Metal Fight too. Uh, well, not fully. I don't know if it's because like people don't like bursts, but like, you know, it's kind of weird. Like, <laughs> if I'm not uploading a video, I'm like gaining subscribers, and then when I upload a video about burst or something then I kind of lose subscribers. Like, wait, what am I doing wrong? What's, what? Um, I don't know if that's because people don't like bursts and it's kind of like them retaliating. It's like, no, I'm not just grabbing you if you're not doing a male fight. And I'm like, okay, fine, be mean. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Oh man, someone gave, a, gave away a spoiler. Gosh dang it, now I know who wins the championship. Oh, well, that's the thing with like this video that I should have expected that. Oh, well, I, I, all the all the burst episodes for for evolution or God, if you want to call it that, yeah, that they, they're not up yet. They're just 12 episodes right now. It's all good except gravity nonsense. People get so triggered over my top 10 list like they're so official. But like, 
just my opinion and plus you know even if like there's two good beyblades like one's gonna be worse than the other every time there it's always gonna happen i mean it's not saying like oh my gosh it's horrible mm, hey no one loves your but youtube so yeah thanks pablo that really means a lot to me that really <laughs> that came out that really means a lot to me i am a meme yeah so people i guess they're shocked that i'm 20 years old i mean bbg is older than me and they like i don't see i mean am i ever gonna do a beyblade burst tournament yes yes i will eventually once i get the parts down and like memorize them all because like if i say oh i'm gonna do a burst tournament right now then people are gonna you know give me all these combos i don't know it's like wait what what's that so like, oh gosh, especially with those stupid frames, that's going to be horrible. I'm going to get so annoyed by that. Uh, you're so extreme. Man, I'm still triggered by that spoiler. People giving spoilers. No, technically he won the world championship. No, the national champion. Oh gosh. Why did I look at the comments? Has he unboxed God Valkyrie yet? Yes, yes. Go take, go watch my unboxing marathon. It, I uh, unboxed it for you. Oh, this is a comparison to Leo Burst. Unicorn Extreme, it rotates, OMG, it rotates, Breeze, Har Bree Breeze Hardly, um, Leo Burst, and today I got Nightmare Longinus, I'm really hyped, says Gloomily. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've seen any of Leo Burst videos, actually, I should, I, actually, I think I saw one where he, uh, I think it was Drain Fafnir, I think, or no, it was the dr the weight damper, I think. I needed help with that. I was like, hey, how, how does this work? And uh, and Leo Burst helped me. So thanks a lot, Leo Burst. Have you lost some subscribers? Yeah, back to the subscribers. I Whenever I upload a new video about Burst, I lose a couple subscribers. It's really triggering. Ugh. You're cool in my opinion, plus make your YouTube combo, please. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for the for my new unicorn combo. Because I don't, I don't think Flash Unicorno is going to gonna battle and i don't know like he might retire he might die like honestly i do not know <laughs> can you put me in the tournament as you know yeah uh, that's another trend with my tournaments like they always comment on like old ones but uh, i can't do those ones so uh, well I, I mean if if i did like I, I don't know there are just so many comments i wouldn't know which one is a recent one and which one yeah i don't know so for the record, if I like upload a custom Beyblade tournament trailer or whatever, uh, comment on that one. Don't do it on the old ones. I I won't pay attention to those. <sighs> Basalt to Deterio, Spriggan Rick is going to beat it. Gosh, there's so many spoilers in this thing. I don't know. Whatever. So I guess what's his face won the national. That's cool, I guess. You're not gonna get triggered, you're going to get triggered. <laughs> Good one. Guys, that, that's a thing. <laughs> It's like, never long this. I mean, it was cool. I was kind of boring now. Also, guys, please kind of get 20 or more lives because I'm insecure. <laughs> I, I, well, I liked him. I did the best I could, but he only got three likes. So that's that's depressing. Okay. Oh, here's uh, some of the backlash from my cringe. Unicorno, I'm tired of this. We know you're just acting. If you love Metal Fight Beyblades, then you should make more videos about them. You don't have to do this do this do what you love well oh someone replied he is getting into burst because there's nothing else he can buy or do with metal fight Bay, which is which is true like i mean i could just do the same thing over and over and over again but like i don't know it's just just kind of eh at that point plus honestly burst well i'll give my opinion on burst in another video that i have planned nightmare longiness more like um nightmare cool coolness <laughs> boom oh wow oh uh, yeah people are wondering where i got it so in the in the description uh you'll you'll see that i have a link for the seller that i buy them from 88 power pig 88 i think I, I i did a video on them before um very good seller very reliable so 20 years old by the way i think he's, he's 19 Man, Lunar is, uh, he's going at it. He's answering my, uh, my questions for me. So thanks, buddy. But no, I'm 20 years old, by the way. Louis, gosh, people keep giving all these spoilers. Louis takes the biggest L in history. 
Man, now, now I'm gonna expect it. Thanks a lot, guys. You ruined the medals. You ruined it for me. Now I won't be able to watch it. Uh, thanks a lot. And of course, your boy Kimbo Slice. We got the epic metal dragon. Can't wait to see you unleash it in some epic battles. I can't wait either, but I probably won't do that for a while. Maybe I'll do a test video on it. Who knows? I love how you're uploading more videos now. Thank you very much. No no problem. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was I talked really loud in the <laughs> in the Nightmare Longinus video. And then people were like, well, dude, can you calm down? So, uh, I, I honestly, at the time, I didn't even know I was that loud. I was like, yo, 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 what's up? Nightmare Longinus. You know, I was paying attention so much to, to the most to the most epic beyblade ever oh my gosh what is up what is up with all these spoilers why do they want to spoil everything i don't get it you want to ruin ruin my uh my burst experience bro because you're triggered because i won't do um i won't do metal fight anymore last video calm this video loud as heck true true i would figure that people would get like turned off by that it's like oh that that one video is really good it's very calm but now is he <laughs> Okay, of course I gave Josh a pin. You know, if you if you ask for a pin, more than likely I'll give it to you. But like, but still, maybe try something else. Maybe be all like, yo, well, give me a pin because uh, blah 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 blah. You know, something else. I don't know. I missed the metal series. I don't move on. <laughs> Dude, Lunar is like savage. He's like going straight savage to these guys. Why am I seeing people who are just I? Why does he does not need a bay that is OP to be cool? I have always thought that he has been cool. Why are you like this? You're only telling people that he needs a bay to be cool. Jeez. And then Lunar, of course, he replies to this. Uh, you know it's a joke, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like I'm dividing fans. This is this isn't what I wanted. Okay, so here's M. Lopez Blader, who is my unofficial apprentice. The next up and coming unicorn oak stream, the cringe lord. He said, and he said, I wish that I could be like cool kids, like the cool kids. They seem to fit in cough, cough, unicorno. I wish I could be like the cool, cool kids, like the cool, <laughs> cool kids. Dun, 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 dun. Please look up the song and pin me. Oh yeah, cookie gang, cookie gang, yo, <laughs> please pin me. One pin, one cringe vid. Don't forget, it has to be the Burshishum. Well, you Burshishum. Jakar told me it's not, it's not fake. It's not fake. Only Jakar told me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I gave that a heart. I mean, the one guy needed a pin, so I gave him a pin. So, and. In it, so uh, instead, I just gave you a harp. So there you go. Now that is some extreme music right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the piano. I totally forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> it's fake. Yeah, people keep saying it's fake. Uh, it's probably a joke because like I said in the video, it's like I think I said something about it not being fake, and now people are like, it is fake. Um, yeah. That'd make me kind of sad. Hashtag Marvel Blade. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I noticed. So Marvel Blade, breaking news, by the way, breaking news. Marvel Blade replied, I believe, uh, well, we talked a little bit on, on Google Hangouts, and uh, he replied to my comment I, I left on on his video, and, uh, yeah, chatted for a little bit. So, yeah, breaking news, Marvel Blade is still alive. I don't know if he's coming back to Beyblade. Probably not, but, uh... You know, we could we, we could still all dream, can't we? Shut up, Volt. Volt Aoi is the best. He tried his best to beat Louis. He's the best blader you you ever seen. Bye. Okay, I guess people misinterpreted what I said. So, like, I was quoting what people were saying about Volt. From what I heard, people say that he's the worst character, worst main character ever. He's unlikable. He's terrible. For me, uh, personally for me, I... For me, I think he, he's a good main character, and I'm going to break down why I think he's that. So, yeah, I'll just – I don't think he's bad, so don't d d don't say anything, man. Plastic cannot appear in the museum. Every series of Beyblade takes place in a different universe. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I mean, yeah, sure. That, that's what I was – that's that's what I was thinking, but, like, I feel like it could work. Like, honestly – 
the plastic generation and burst it, it could blend together metal fight is kind of the uh, the one left out the odd man left out because it just it's so weird yeah, it just couldn't work but you know plastic like whatever i guess different universes that's fine i recommend you to watch the stickers first huh the museum part i thought i was gonna see pegasus i, I don't know I, I honestly i wouldn't be as happy to see pegasus there honestly i, I think that would that would make burst kind of weird it's like oh where'd this threat go it's like oh my gosh nemesis i mean where's so it's all supernatural it's all this it's this doesn't work you suck thanks bro i i didn't know you are so gosh people people are so mean to me they call me fat <gasps> uh, i haven't pay, played babel in five years you should uh, come out of retirement, bro. Versus the future. The only reason Rago won was because El Drago was cracked. Oh, yeah. True. Very true. Good good catch, man. Your boy Kai is back at it again. True that, man. I, honestly, uh, just to bring it up, I think it's pretty cool that, like, they are bringing back, you know, re-releases of, uh, like, drawings and stuff. That's cool. Um, I don't think that gets recognized enough. It's like, yeah, Bruce is terrible. But then again, like, they're bringing back your childhood. It's like, come on. Like, clearly they do care. Otherwise, they wouldn't even have done that in the first place. Yeah, I agree with you. For me, the battles seem a bit short. I don't know. It's not really that they're... I, I honestly like that they're short. It's a lot like the plastic generation. The, the thing is, they're just not that spectacular, is what I'm saying. Um, they're not as flashy as Metal Fight. Metal Fight battles were pretty good. Um, plastic generation... I guess it wasn't that spectacular either. Um i don't know i'd have to look back at it uh, there were some battles that just like dragged on for way too long unicorno kimbo slice 1305 is live oh yeah i remember that asking some pretty i was asking some pretty dumb questions <laughs> do you think you can do a skip at this time with the beyblade burst oh well i i do have a little story in mind for the burst it's not gonna be full-on burst though just like my other videos it's gonna be something a little different so st stay tuned for that it's gonna be like I don't want to spoil it, but like, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. Pac Man dies. Oh no. Gosh, Lunar is like on people. <laughs> it's like this one guy. He's like, that's 127. Pac Man dies. And then uh, Lunar's like, why are you commenting on a three year old video? It's like, dang. Oh my gosh. Hello, Virgo Extreme GT. Hi. Oh, here's Lunar again. Gosh, Lunar is like, oh my gosh, Lunar's triggered. Thunder Wheel comes from Libra. Where are you? <laughs> oh lunar i would love to see review movies if you like them ps you sounded kind of sad hope you're okay i don't yeah honestly i'm not like i i love movies but i don't think i could like do uh, a full-on like review and it you know a detailed review of it i don't know it's just i'm not that familiar with film like i wouldn't know what i was talking about gosh i'm so sick of these spoilers honestly i'm triggered guys i'm so triggered another spoiler now okay there are two spoilers i know so that's great can't wait to watch season two and know everything that's gonna happen i can't wait uh so okay so mj uh replied of course ball acts like a kid because he's just 11 to I guess you didn't get the point I was trying to make to that. I was just saying, like, he's not a robot. Like, you know, people want him to be, like, so nice and, like, so friendly. I, I, well, apparently, um, they want they want him to be perfect. But honestly, you know, I, I like how they made Volt, like, a real kid. But, like, I mean, it's a cartoon. It's anime. Um, hopefully, it's, no one get, got triggered when I say it was a cartoon. Um, like, in a cartoon, like, they can make the kids not act like kids like well for example like charlie and the chocolate factory like charlie doesn't act like a real kid he kind of acts like a robot really and same thing with jenga in some ways so yeah that's that was kind of my point oh gosh emma lopez is crying right now i don't know why i give him a little heart to make him feel better i feel so bad for reggie did you really throw those no i oh yeah uh I didn't throw away those Beyblades, if you're wondering, for, like, the marathon video. I didn't do that, so, yeah. Gosh, I don't understand. It's like they, people It's like people comment, uh, like, when for the Beyblade Burst review video, 
like they comment and then they pause the video or something and then they like comment and they're like oh Beyblade Burst is really good. You're bad. Yeah, your opinion's wrong. I was like, what? <laughs> I was actually pretty positive about Burst. So I don't know what they're going on about. Actually the only villain I don't wanna I've I've already been spoiled enough. I don't want any more spoilers. Surprised you didn't hate on it. I thought you're gonna be like everyone else. Oh, it's nothing compared to the metal series. Oh, it has horrible characters, blah, blah, blah. Good to see someone else likes it. Give that a heart. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It it, uh, it was honestly better than I thought it was going to be. So The only thing I don't like about it is that Vault always loses in the important. It's good for character development, but the reason is so bad. Like, wow, he's going to win. Oh, no. Well, it's because we're cracking the... Yeah, that was, that was some pretty bad luck for Vault, I will admit. <sighs> Have you seen Baby Burst God? Yeah, it, people keep spoiling it. Why? I, I should have said, can you please not spoil it at the beginning of the video? But I'm sure people would just troll me and do it anyways. Ugh, give me. Louis is such a misunderstood character. Yeah, I read that. that yeah, that that is true. That is very true. And, well, I think anyways. I don't think he's a bad person at all. I like the style of how this video is made, bro. And yeah, in the museum scene, I thought Dragoon and Drusil were going to be there. But yeah, Bibli Burst. <laughs> no, we want kids to buy Burst, not the older series. Like... Honestly, I mean, if if their reason is that, like, they, they want Burst to stand on its own and not, like, rely on, like, the past, like, you know, Banish, I, that's that's okay. Honestly, it doesn't bother me too much now, but, you know, it would have been nice. How much did all of these cost altogether for the Burst unboxing? Well, I don't know. I, I can't remember, but uh, it was a lot. I thought that the Plastic Generation would be on the stands too so it's good to see that i wasn't the only one that like thought of that that's good i'm not alone kimbo a lot of really good points i totally agree louis wasn't really evil at all like people thought he just did everything possible to stay at the top and gain power evolution god is starting to get really interesting i can't wait to see your thoughts on it well i mean it's kind of been spoiled as you know spoiled for me already so i don't know if i can enjoy it as much now but like you know Whatever. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but still. Triggered. Oh, gosh. Okay, people keep trying to spoil it. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, who cares? I'm so depressed right now. Like, um, like Death Note got spoiled for me, too. Um, But, you know, I still watched it. I was like, whatever. Well, I mean, not really. It was, it was really weird. It's like, I was expecting something completely different instead of, like, okay, spoilers, by the way. Like, skip through it real quick. I'm going to make it. So I thought I thought when they said L, I thought they were talking about light because, you know, light L, you know. So I thought, oh, L dies, so light dies. Oh, okay. But um, you no, know, it was actually um, it was L who died first and then light died. So, yeah. Okay, spo spoiler over. Spoiler over. <clears throat> I love this comment, by the way. So uh, he is like, oh, I can't believe so-and-so like cracked at the, at the final – and oh, spoilers, by the way. It's like, why didn't you say spoilers? That's the thing, guys. Just say spoilers at the beginning. It's like, uh, you know, after I'm done with the series, then I'll watch it. But you know, why, why would you spoil it for me? Why? How would you react to Burst Head Metal Fight? Honestly, if Unicorn was in Burst form, that would be pretty amazing. But yeah, I, I, we already do have a Unicorn one, so I'm I'm fine with that. All right, I'll end uh, I'll end this with uh, <clears throat> this comment, and it really uh, touched my heart. It uh, made me feel pretty good. So what's happening reply or commented. Okay, I'm leaving this comment because I feel this must be said. I subscribed to this channel a long time ago. I wanted to watch the Little Beyblades battle and that was fine at the time. I grew up. So did almost everyone else. I never unsubscribed because I felt although I may not be exactly too into the content. Didn't mean I couldn't sub or didn't mean I could support you. At this point, you may. At this point, many people have moved on, but this video is a movement in the right direction. These types of videos can be a kind of rebirth for your channel, and they don't have to be about Beyblades. Hopefully, you see this comment and can take it all in. Just don't be afraid to experiment, because your real friend, real fans, won't give up on you. Stay real, man. Uh, see so yeah, Um, honestly, like. I do have another channel. The main purpose of that channel at first was to be like for gaming and stuff, but like I might do it for like other things, maybe like a 
I don't know, maybe a vlog or something really boring. So, um, yeah, uh, but I'm probably going to do, you know, Beyblade stuff on this channel because that's really what people want to see, to be honest. But, um, yeah, uh, thanks a lot for the comment. Made me feel good. And then someone replied to that saying, I like his channel. I just wish he had to, I just wish he was did burst away, did not fight. Eh, I don't know. I, I just tried it, trying to do something different, I guess. But yeah, that and wraps Shad, up this uh, Shad, podcast. Like cool uh, so in the end, cool stuff got spoiled is, for me, in, um, uh, uh, I, which I I is like pretty cool sad. Cool but oh well, <laughs> I'll still watch it. Thanks for the done, comments done, and stuff, done, and done, thanks done, for done, uh, the likes done, and the subscriptions, even though people keep unsubscribing to me. Um. And as always, I'm out.